Uh, greetings to all. In this lecture, we will see continuous probability distribution. The probability distribution of a continuous random variable X is called continuous, continuous everywhere in the event space. And we know the relationship between capital F of X and small f of X, which is given by D by DX of capital F of X equal to probability density function of the continuous random variable X. The standard continuous probability distribution is used commonly in statistics. There are various types of continuous probability distributions, which has got practical applications. Some of the standard continuous distributions are uniform distribution, otherwise called a rectangular distribution. Then we have beta distribution, gamma distribution. We have normal distribution or Gaussian distribution, exponential distribution, etc. Let us see uh, what is this uniform distribution or rectangular distribution. In a uniform distribution or a rectangular distribution, the number of occurrences of the uniform variable, that is the number of occurrences of the variable will be uniform in nature. Suppose the spectrum of the random variable X is A comma B then the probability density function f of x is defined as 1 by b minus a, where x lies between a to b, 0 otherwise. So this is the probability density function of the uniform distribution. And it is also represented by u of a comma b, where a and b are the parameters of the distribution. The graphical representation of this uh, uniform distribution is given as if x is taken along x-axis and uh, f of x is taken as taken along y-axis, between a to b, the function f of x is defined to be 1 by b minus a. So the graphical representation is rectangular in nature. Hence the name it is called a rectangular distribution. So this is a standard continuous distribution which has got a constant PDF. So from its graph, the name rectangular uh, is derived. So some of the, let us see some of the properties of this uniform distribution. The first property is integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx equal to 1. As per the definition of the PDF f of x, we see that f of x is 1 by b minus a from the interval a to b. And it is 0 otherwise. So from minus infinity up to a, the function takes the value 0. From a to b, it is 1 by b minus a. From b to infinity, it is again 0. So this result can be easily proved. Let us take the left hand side, integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx can be written as integral minus infinity to a f of x dx plus integral a to b f of x dx plus b to infinity f of x dx. The first integral and the last integral becomes zero. We have only the middle integral where the function is one by b minus a dx is equal to 1 by b minus a integration of dx is x between the limits a to b so we have b minus a by b minus a which is equal to 1 so the property of pdf is satisfied by the function uh, f of x the second property is the curve is bounded by the density function that is the curve bounded by the density function is rectangular so we see the graph is uh, uh, from a to b it is taking the value 1 by b minus a. So the area bounded by this curve is, by this rectangle is the length into breadth. The length is uh, uh, b minus a and it is 1 by b minus a. Therefore, the curve bounded by this density function is rectangular. The curve bounded by the density function. is rectangular and its bounded area is 1. Bounded area is 1. Next, in the uniform random variable a comma b, if a takes the value 0, b takes the value 1, then x will be a uniform random variable between 0 to 1, where f of x equal to constant pdf 1. This type of uniform random variable is called as standard uniform random variable and the distribution is called as standard uniform distribution. So these are some of the properties of uniform distribution. 
and most of the computer programming languages uh, they provide a routine that generates random numbers and these generated random numbers are uh, uniformly distributed random numbers also in the hash data structure of a computer uh, generally it is assumed that the hash addresses are uniformly distributed over the address region of the hash table so it has got a lot of applications so we will see the mgf mean and variance of uniform distribution so the next derivation is obtain the mgf mean and variance of uniform distribution the pdf f of x is defined as 1 by b minus a where x lies between a to b zero otherwise the moment generating function mx of t is given by the formula expectation of e to the power tx for a continuous random variable the expectation is given by integral e to the power tx f of x dx here f of x is a non zero value between a to b so again this integral can be written as integral a to b e power tx 1 by b minus a dx on integrating e power tx we get e power tx by t between the limits a to b when you apply the upper limit we have e power bt minus the lower limit is e power at divided by t into b minus a therefore we get the moment generating function of a uniform random variable as e power bt minus e power at by t into b minus a to find the mean of the random variable x so mean of x is given by expectation of x it is equal to integral x into f of x dx between the limits a to b so integral a to b x into 1 by b minus a dx so 1 by b minus a is a constant integration of x is x square by 2 between the limits a to b so we get b square minus a square by 2 into b minus a on simplifying the numerator we have b plus a into b minus a divided by 2 into b minus a so the mean of uniform distribution is a plus b by 2 in a similar way we can find the mean square value of x which is given by integral x square f of x dx between the limits a to b it is integral a to b x square 1 by b minus a dx 1 by b minus a is the constant integration of x square is x cube by 3 between the limits a to b on applying the limits we have b cube minus a cube by 3 times b minus a b cube minus a cube can be written as b minus a into b square plus ab plus a square divided by 3 into b minus a so the mean square value is b square plus ab plus a square by 3 now we can find the variance of x variance of x is given by the formula variance of x equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square expectation of x square is given by the formula b square plus ab plus a square by 3 minus a plus b by 2 the whole square so we get b square plus ab plus a square by 3 minus a plus b the whole square it is a square plus 2ab plus b square divided by 4 now the lcm is 12 so that we have 4b square plus 4ab plus 4a square minus 3a square minus 6ab minus 3b square on simplifying this term we have a square plus b square minus 2ab divided by 12 is equal to a minus b the whole square by 12 so the mean of uniform distribution is a plus b by 2 and variance of uniform distribution is a minus b the whole square by 12 so in this lecture we have seen what is uniform distribution it is otherwise called rectangular distribution and then we have derived the mgf mean and variance of uniform distribution thank you